I cannot believe we are lesson 85. 15 lessons to go. So I'm thinking by Friday, that's when you are doing lesson 99. Oh my goodness. So anything that you put that you will do, I think our number one big uh, sabotage is ourselves. Because when I started last month, the month of uh, uh, October, when I started the month of October 1st, that's when I started to post these videos. I did not know how to post a hundred videos. Like, uh, that is too much. What will I be communicating? What will I be saying? And now you're here, lesson 85. So if this is the first time that you're watching this video, just, just know that I have done another 84 videos. Imagine 84 lessons. And I have really taught uh, OPT strategy, CRB, CSV. I have taught so many things. We have done live analysis, live trades in these lessons. And I don't know after lesson 100 what the Holy Spirit will guide. Because for me, I don't do it because I want to. I do it more because it's a calling. Nobody would give 100 free lessons. Let me tell you, nobody. But when you follow the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit is inside you, you are, it's no longer your will, but the will of God. So we are here not because of my power, not because of my might, not because I know too much, but it's because of God. So let's give all glory, all the honor to God for enabling all of us to be here. So I need to just tell you that this is the wonderful lesson that we will learn together. We will learn lesson 85. And because we are starting a new week, I want today's lesson we do weekly analysis. For me, I'll give you like three or four weekly analysis. And if not from next, from tomorrow, any trade that I will, I will see it has activated, I'll just post it. Post it. So GBPUSD, guys, before even we continue, what do you think about GBPUSD? Do you think it will buy? Do you think it will sell? And the reason I'm asking this question, it can do either. There is no, like, there is nothing that you can tell me, oh, GBPUSD is a buy, oh, GBPUSD is a sell, and uh, you, you say you're just 100% sure. Anything that you think GBPUSD will do, you just have 50%. You just have 50% of the truth, and I'll show you why. So according to weekly analysis, we saw that the market, the buyers, uh, pushed this market with a bullish engulf and broke a resistance. You can see that. So the market last week, um, it was down and the market has gone up with 285 pips. We made money with GBPUSD last month. It was a good month. Comment down below if you made money with our analysis. Remember the double bottom that I showed everyone here and I gave that um. I gave you that video and I told you GPSD is a buy. So enter a buy and comment if is it a hard trade or yeah. So we did that video, all of us. And yes, we didn't get much like 285, but for me, I got more than a hundred pips and I was comfortable with that amount. Now today we are analyzing again. What do you think? That's why I have written here. Do you think this breaking of structure is a fake out? Because you already know that when a market is breaking any resistance, it can either be a fake out or continuation. So the question is, do you think this GBPUSD will continue to the next resistance? Why? If one resistance is broken, the market has possibility, high possibility of coming to the next resistance. So the question we are asking ourselves, is GBPUSD a buy or a sell? More people would suggest a buy because, of course, if the market breaks, it shows buyers have momentum. But what I can tell you is that we also had a break here. Can you see? The market broke this resistance, and for the one week, the market sold. So breaking does not guarantee you it is sold 189 pips. So this market, yes, it can break like that and go back to where it was like almost 265. So what I want us to do, I want us to remove everything and I want us to have um to have but the buy. So the reason for you to buy is there and for reason to sell are there. So I want you to write down and you see who has so many points. It's like a point scoring. So the first thing, when you open GBPUSD, we are seeing this double top. So double top, we have one score for sellers. So those people who are still saying the market is a sell, that is the main reason why they are selling. So the double top, the double top 
um, we have to know where is our half. So where is the half of this? So half is at 1753. So basically anyone who is saying GBPSD will still sell, I think USD has power, I think it will sell. They are just supported by this double top. So we cannot assume that the market, because it's buying, it, it cannot reverse and do according to what it has said here. So according to uh, weekly, according to weekly, we have this double top and we have to first to identify, is it on the monthly? Is this double top on where? On the monthly. So we have to be very careful on the double top that we are dealing with. Because if it is on the monthly, the double top becomes weaker. So the fact that the double top is not on the monthly, it makes this double top very strong. Meaning that this double top, this double top can complete. The question is, how will it complete? From where it is, how will this market sell 733 because there's a high possibility. So you need to understand the reason for many people to sell, they are selling because of, they are selling because of weekly double top. So the first point, the first point is weekly double top, double top. So that is headed to half. So this double top has never touched half. And I think that's why the cell, um, the cell might be uh, might be coming in. And you see, the banks know if they were to sell here to the half, they would have been, gained only 300 pips. So they had to retest. So for me, I'm thinking this can be a retracement so that it can drop down. You see, 733 so that it can drop down. So for me, my question is, how do we come to a conclusion that this is a sell, yet the market is kind of retracing? So how do we come out from a retracing market to back to the drop? That is the question, guys. And you see, many people know how to identify a double top. Many people know how a double top uh, enter using WBB, the box was broken and the market is now selling. But when the market has an obstacle, the question is, why did even this market stop in the first place? Why do we have this stop? Like, why would the market stop at this area? And you see, these are some of the questions you ask yourself. The market was dropping very well, but this is floating price. Nothing on the left, no support because the support where we thought this market will come to was this area where it could have activated a new double bottom. So if this market touched, like they came and activated, let's see if that double bottom is still on the monthly. It's still on the monthly and this is, makes this double bottom weak. Because any double bottom that is in two time frames automatically becomes weak. That area becomes weak. So the market can come and violate it and break it. So you see? So what I need to you to understand is that, yes, sellers, they have a double top to the half. They are still, so anyone who entered here, all the swing traders of GBPUSD, they entered there. And for the first time they had been holding 711 pips waiting for the market to hit their take profit. But all that profit has been taken and now they are at 258. And that's how, when you're swing trading, you have to ask yourself, why is the market just ranging in one place? So the point for selling, we do not even have selling using weekly. There's no way we can get another reason for selling if the market will not come to this double top. So the question is, is there a way the market wants to buy and challenge the same double top and form another new double top? Because these are some of the questions you, you need to ask yourself. Is it, is it that the market will come and activate this new double top? So they have activated that new double top 
so that now the market can sell. Because we need first to understand that there was a reason and we can't see it on weekly. So that's where we will go on the daily time frame. So we agree the market didn't, ju didn't just stop. The market did not just stop at this area. There was a reason why the market stopped. And you have to understand when the market stops and change of character, we call it change of character. When the market was a very good sell and all of a sudden it starts to buy, the first question you should ask yourself, why? So if we continue asking ourselves why using weekly time frame, we may never, never know. Because you already know that a market rejects a support area. And this is not a support area. In fact, there is no support, there is no resistance. So the question is, why did it stop here? Another thing, because the market has stopped, what if the buyers are looking for the, the banks and the market makers are looking for a zone where they can now activate a new pattern using the same time frame so that now from this double top this double top they can now sell the market very well they can sell the market back and if they sell the market back the half of that double top will have will have um accomplished the main agenda you see so what if that is what what they want it to happen what if that's what exactly what they want to happen so the market may come here so we won't assume this possible double top we won't assume this possible double top and the reason why we won't assume it is because the reason why we will not assume it is because if buyers still keep pushing on we have at least a resistance to prevent it from going up. So from the weekly perspective, we this is just um, a way to say the market, uh, we want it there. For me, any double tops that are coming from the weekly, I like marking them with red. I know that is a very strong zone. So according to our analysis, weekly, it is the one that is giving everyone a sale. And that double bottom, it for me, I won't consider it on the weekly because it's on the monthly. So I will just remove it and I will work with only this zone. So if I check on the monthly, if this zone is there, before even I, I do much about it, let's check if on monthly we have it, we do not have it. So this market can come tap this area so that it can fall down and it is not on the month, it is not there. So that is something that we need all of us to understand. So remember, guys, I told you, why did the market stop at that area? You remember? So when you go to the daily time frame, the market stopped at this area. But if I squeeze this chart, if I squeeze, there was a zone. Can you see? There was a zone, a support zone. So market will never stop because of anything. And if you cannot identify where the market is stopping, better avoid that market. So we need to give a reason why the market is stopping. And I remember this, the double bottom, I was trading the whole of uh, any double bottom that I find it on the daily, I use color blue. So if you see a blue box, you already know it's a daily double bottom. If you see a red zone, this double bottom top, it's still on the weekly. So we won't enter using the daily. So I remember this was October. This was 2nd October. That's when the, the, double top, the double bottom was activated. And this being our neckline. So this double top, double bottom, I could not have said it can stay for all those. Um, it can stay for all those uh, months. Like I never thought that double bottom will be a stubborn double bottom. And what you can find out is that the market is approaching half. It's approaching her. So the double bottom was not on the weekly. And that's why weekly market st stopped. And if a stall you never went to daily, you could not have known the reason why the double top stopped selling. It's because this double top was selling, but activated a new pattern on the daily. I hope you are following. So you might have a very accurate double top 
on one time frame, but the first first enemy is another double top, either on the same time frame or a different time frame. That's the only way that double top is defeated. So this double top never went down because there was activation of a double bottom. So I remember giving this trade last month and I was telling people that let us enter here. And we entered here up to half. But the problem came when I saw we would have a possible, you see this, these are a possible double top. So there's no way you can trade up to here and you're minding the market can get activated. So yes, we entered the trade and it was a very stubborn trade. And when the market reached here, for me, I got confused. Why? I don't know if now they want to take this new double top. I don't know if now it is time to sell. And the reason why I'm telling you this is that when the market was at this area, I knew it cannot sell again. So I need to use what? My strategy. I need to use WBB. I need to react, not predict. Remember, you still have that mind. You have that mind. Oh, the market is supposed to hit that half. But again, the market has activated a pattern that is not on the weekly. Let me show you guys. This pattern was not on the weekly. So it was a very powerful double top. Can you see? It was not there. So all along, you know, I'm trying to backtrace what we have been doing for you to understand what you are supposed to do. So when this market was, was here, everyone was selling this new double top. And if you use WBB, in fact, we got an entry around there. Can you see? We got an entry where? Here. The market broke. So when I came and I calculated uh, my double top and I found my half, so I was selling up to the half. Are you following, guys? Notice we were trading double bottom. The market act the same time frame, it activated a new double top that is not on the weekly, meaning it was strong. And then now the market has given us a sell. And I was not, in fact, I remember entering this sell. It was like a scalping sell. I was not that confident, and it was only 70 pips. Now, that day, that day, and, and I think we can now start here back testing before we, so that you can understand what happened. So let me cut down that so that you can understand what was happening with GBPUSD. So I have traded and I came back. My take profit was hit. And guess what I find? Half breaking. And the fact that this market had RBS, like it, like, from weekly, the market was to sell, and now daily is telling me to sell. The same daily never hit my half. So I was get I was so confused by the way. And I was asking God, how do I trade this? I don't know how many people comment down below. How many people sold with this half breaking? You see, you have to be very careful typing data, getting the data in your brain. You don't forget. This data is what we use to make sure that we enter in good trades, build a very good strategy around our data. So for me, I knew the market cannot be easy like this. How are they telling me to sell? How many pips? At that time, it was 190. Let me first go to lower time frame because I already know that if I have a double top, an OPT double top, OPT means one pattern on one time frame. So if I write for you OPT, people are asking me what OPT means. OPT means one pattern on one time frame. So it's either you have a double top or a double bottom. That's what OPT means. So the rule of OPT is if I have OPT on daily, on daily, I need to check, I need to check where? I need to check on four hour to make sure there is no OPT. Make sure there is no OPT. And now you know OPT, what it is, stands for. If I have OPT on daily, I need still to check on four hour to make sure there is no OPT. Why? You can have this double top, 
on the daily and it has broken half. But the same time when I go to four hour, I have a double bottom. And let me tell you, this is exactly what has been happening. Why? Because on the weekly, we had a double top that came on the daily, we have a double bottom. So the, the banks love using one time frame, they use a double top, the next one they use a double bottom, or they start with a double bottom, the next one they use a double top. So here we can see a double top. And when I flipped on the my four hour, when I flipped on my four hour, I was shocked. Why? Because yes, the market was telling me to sell, but there was OPT on four hour. You understand now? And four hour is black. If you see the black zone, it means that double bottom is on four hour. So I have a double top on daily, double bottom on four hour. And you see, that's where they bring confusion. Why? They already know majority will not pay attention. So I come here and I place this uh, yellow zone and I'm thinking, okay, let me first measure her. So I will use a different color. So I measure her and I find we have RBS. So this was a sure trade. If it gives us CRB, it will definitely go up. So if I go back on the daily time frame, yes, you're being told to sell, but where you're being told to sell, the market will not come far much because they can just sell 28 pips in the market about. Now, my attention will not be daily because if I keep waiting on daily, I'm being told to sell according to daily time frame the market is on a sell. But if I go on four hour, I will avoid selling why the market, even I can sell for these pips and then I close the trade. So let's see what happened. The market dropped, dropped, dropped. So the take profit would be that area and it activated. Now I want you to notice, immediately the market activated, we got a what? we got a current resistance. Why? Because double bottoms on one time frame we use, any double bottom on four hour you use CRB. So I was waiting for current resistance to break. And this is what I gave you last week on Monday because it was uh, on Monday last week. So I gave you, I told you guys, wait, wait. So this, this trade is last week. I told you guys, wait for this market to do what? To break. So I told you, you wait to break and the Monday was the candle the market broke. Can you see? We got an entry on Monday. That trade was on Monday. So we have a trade on Monday and we can enter that buy. And I remember telling you, if you're watching this trade, you just come comment down below. Did this market give us an easy way or it was hard? So for the first agenda, remember now daily it was telling you it has even broken half. But for our the new agenda, and that is your first COVID up to the half. So, how many pips are you getting? 66 pips. So, the market continued, 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 almost hitting our TP. And the next candle was massive candle. And if you wanted to enter here, you would have checked. What's the distance? I don't really encourage people to enter this buy. So this buy, we never got the majority of pips because we were waiting for half to be broken and the market went with 100 pips, not giving us an indication. And then again, this double top, the market continued, broke with a very big candle and continued and continued, guys. So... The minute it, it reached there, the minute it reached there, we already know that a double bottom once it is broken neckline, it is going this distance. So for me, I was a bit freezed because hey, this market was flying all sides. So when I came to calculate to see my half where the market is supposed to go, uh, it's supposed to go here. So I said, let me wait for retracement. For, so that I can enter the trade and the market has retraced. So that's where the market is, as you speak. That's where the market is.
The question is, even after the daily was broken half, the market went up. Don't say the market has violated, WBB does not work. No, they just used a different pattern. They just used four hour. So now we're on four hour in the market. Now here is where we are. So I can delete everything and tell you for sure that if you open the chart like this and you try to go on the daily and try to figure out what is happening, what is happening? For me, the first thing that is telling me, because when we go to the weekly time frame, we can only see that for weekly, for the market to sell using weekly, they need that zone to be activated. For And, and I make it red. I want to show you some things and it is very interesting. So for the market, for us to use weekly double top, they have to go, how many pips I want to show you? They have to go 250 pips. If we go to the daily time frame and we want the market to use the daily time, and this is the daily time. So there's this double top that has been activated already. Can you see? We already have a double top because the market activated. You see this green candle? That is our resistance. So already the market has activated. So that the whole of this zone and this one, I'll put it blue. So I have a zone using weekly. This is the zone of weekly. And this is the zone of daily. So already daily, has given us a possible double top. The only day, the only thing daily has not given us is the entry, guys. It's the entry. So daily we have been given to sell. We have been given to sell. But the confirmation to sell is, is what it is not there. So and the fact that we have RBS on this trade, we have RBS there, it means this sell if it if it agrees it will be a good sale. But there are so many chances for the market to do what? To buy. And I'll tell you in a few. So we have this double top on weekly. It is a bit far. This one has already activated. So this is a possible double top. So we are trying to ask ourselves, how will this market play out? So you have that double top. And now, if I come here, I notice for me to have a double top around here, can you see? You see, you can have a big double top and a small double top. The market has not activated. I don't know if you can notice. This first attempt, and then now this is a smaller double top. The market has not attempted. So I'll put that for us to know once the market has activated. So it will be an indication. In the market, if this week goes to 24.98, it will have activated. Now, the most interesting thing is that as you're waiting for the double top to give us either a bearish candle, because if that candle gives us a bearish candle, if this candle gives us like today candle closes like this, and then on Tuesday we get a very red candle, this, can, this market will be a sale. It will be a sale. But before then, let's go to four hour. Mr. Makweli, four hour is the truth, like the only pattern uh, time frame that is current, like it is speaks current things. So as we are waiting for that double top on the daily, the small double top on the daily to activate, already we have a what? So this one, I'll hide it on four hour. So as we wait for the double top to activate on the, on the daily, guess what? On the four hour, we have already activated a double top. So yes, you're waiting for the double top to activate on the daily, but on the on the four hour already, there's an activated double top. And that's what we have. And that double top, most probably it is not on the daily. If this, if the market touch on four hour, it touches this zone, that double top will be activated on the daily. So for me, what I'm seeing is a double top on four hour, only so a double top on four hour and this double top so this is where everyone eyes should be this double top can give us two patterns a cup and handle or a 
complete double top. So this is where we are at. If at all you want to enter a cell, you have to use what? CSB. So you have to work with a support break. So it brings this red followed by green. You put a line, wait it to break your cell. And if the market breaks here, what are you supposed to do? If it breaks here, you look for any obstacles to limit that market to sell so that either you can buy. So according to what we have on GBPUSD, we don't have the weekly, we don't have the daily. Right now we have the four, at least four has a pattern. So in short, what I'm trying to tell you, this market can either be both a double top, complete double top, mm -hmm or it is preparing to give us a cap and handle. So one, one way or the other, it will pick one pattern. The question is, which one will it pick? I want you to comment down below, which one do you think GBPUSD will pick? Do you think it will pick cap and handle or do you think it will do complete double top? Because this is what we have, guys. If this market breaks out, if this market breaks out of that zone, let me tell you, the market is going to buy. They will buy. You see? They're going to buy. If this market breaks our half and all the obstacles are not met, it will come and complete a double top. Can you see? So where we are, GBPSD, we are torn in between. We don't know exactly what the market will do. We don't understand exactly what the market will do. So at the end of the day, we, we need to understand that ah, that's how the market is. There's nothing we can do. We have to react, not predict. I have done my own analysis. You need to be to pay attention. Why? Because when the market behaves like this, they already know the retail traders has to pick a side. And that's why most of the time, when you pick a side, it fails. Because already the way they have tapped it, they have trapped it for you to pick the side they want you to pick. So how do we prevent ourselves from picking the side we do not want it to pick? So GBPUSD, I will be, I'll keep you posted. The only time I will post this GBPUSD again if the direction where I'm taking it. So that from the direction, there will be two lessons. Either we win that trade or we lose. If we win, we put that data to duplicate and multiply in other trades. If we lose from the direction, we call ourselves for a meeting and ask ourselves, why did we lose? So GBPUSD is not those trades that you play with. These are the trades that you don't joke with. Why? The market can do anything. At this point, the market can just do anything. So we will, for me, it's better. I don't trade it, but if the market do exactly, I don't want the market just to break zones and I enter. I want the market to just communicate a simple thing and I obey. Thank you so much for uh, listening, for that analysis. This one has given you an idea what GBP will do this week. So pay attention, mark it, Add it to your watch list and all the best. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. My goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers soon. And I know we will hit soon. And comment down below. Thank you so much, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.